On this episode of TFL Camper Corner, I'm in a very special place with a very special camper. Here I have the new 2022 Black Series HQ19, and it combines Australian engineering, off-road toughness with a luxurious interior. So it's a trailer a little bit for everybody, and it should take you off the beaten path like this. I'm currently in beautiful Moab, Utah. So let me show you all the way around this trailer, all of its features, and I also can show you the manufacturing facility where it's actually finished and built in California. All of this coming to you in one episode right here. So HQ19 means that the floor length of this trailer is 19 feet long and all the way from the tongue all the way to the very back it's 25 feet long overall so let me take you inside and then we'll get outside and i'll show you all of its features so first of all you have a little controller here on the side of the wall and one of the things it does is operate this power step if you're wondering why this trailer the tires and the step is a little bit wet and muddy it's because on episode two of the series i actually uh, used the tundra to pull this trailer uh, overland off-road so stay tuned for that right here on the outside you have a solar power light so when it's dark, it illuminates this area. This also Black Series lights up. So it kind of has a premium feel uh, when you enter this camping trailer. So come on in. Last night, I actually spent here. We just actually picked this up in California and drove it here over the last 24 hours. So it's not fully accessorized, but I did bring my sleeping bags. This is where I slept, this mattress. Oh, it's actually just memory foam. It's just firm enough. I, I really liked it. You have cabinets that are throughout and they have this white finish as well. So these trailers were originally engineered in Australia. Uh, they're partially built in China, then shipped to California, and that's where they're finished. Here you have also the interior stereo system. You've got a couple of speakers on both sides. And over here, you have little lights for reading at night. Under the bed, you have a couple of access points. For example, uh, this is this, um, the amplifier for the stereo system. Over here, you have access for your uh, heater and other items. So if you need to service something or maintain or fix something later, you have access for that. Plenty of headspace. I'm just about 6'3" and I feel comfortable. I don't have to slouch, although I usually slouch. Um, once again, all these doors have these little locks right there. And of course it helps to open it if you kind of hit it in that area. It has a lot of kind of modern design, kind of minimalist, and lots of LED lights throughout. So you can always get fresh air. And actually, if you get the camera outside and look on the roof, there's also solar panels, um, up to 600 watts of solar power. You have main switch, interior light switches, and exterior light switches. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, there's a lot of powerful LED bars on the outside. Here is a dinette that can convert into a bed. So this technically will sleep three people. So if you can put this cushion here, this cushion here, over here and kind of set it up this way, like this. I mean, an adult can sleep here too. Actually, if you stretch out, this is actually plenty comfortable. So somebody 6'3", or a little bit shorter, or a lot shorter can sleep here. And I like how easy the up and down motion of this table is. Kind of works like an office chair. It's pretty neat. It has basically Australian style, European style windows. So you've got a blackout shade or a screen and it could go all the way up or all the way down. And right here, you can separate them and also 
this window can open or close easily. This is a double pane, so it does have good insulation in general, or also kind of lets air in, and it can kind of stay open if you're gentle with it, like this. You have your TV here, okay? Of course, many cabinets throughout. And this is the special part of this floor plan, the HQ-19. It's had a large, humongous bathroom area, vanity and shower. Still full height. Uh, this has a sliding door like this, so you can get privacy. There's porcelain sink and porcelain toilet, storage throughout and full shower here with a little vent up above it and its own window. So. Um, this is why uh, you can really enjoy the inside of this camper and also take it almost anywhere where reasonably it can go and enjoy the outside as well. Has a Dometic freezer and fridge. Propane powered. It has an inverter system, so a microwave can work, but it also may require shore power especially for the air conditioning unit. So you can see up here on the ceiling, the air conditioning unit, I'll show you on the outside in a bit, uh, it requires shore power and it has a 30 amp circuit, of course, um, and also a 12 volt uh, circuit throughout. In the kitchen, we have a three burner stove. Bam. And this is powered by the propane bottles up front and an oven. A sink here. And it's actually the faucets are all uh, kind of home style faucets. Very nice. It has a special little faucet for filtered water, drinking water, or basic uh, water, running water, that's also connects to the shower. Um, 16 gallons of filtered water, 64 gallons here. And you can see I have opened this window as well. And here you can see the filtration system for the 16 gallon tank. Triple filters right down there. Down here, this is your heater outlet. I spent a night in this uh, trailer last night. It was, the temperature was around 30 degrees at night and this was plenty. I uh, controlled it using my thermostat. Now, let's go on the outside. I wanna show you many more items, especially how it's built. And I also can queue up right now the factory tour so you can see exactly the process they go through because they use galvanized steel a frame, they have an aluminum skeleton, and then they built the rest of it out, including independent suspension. So let's go to the factory first, and then I'll take you outside and show you around. Here I have a unique opportunity to show you inside the facility where Black Series camper trailers are actually produced and finished here in the city of industry near Los Angeles, California. The one you see right here with no suspension, no axles, it's kind of how they get shipped here to Los Angeles from China where they're mostly put together. But of course, there is a lot of finishing work to be done, uh, which is what uh, this facility here in California is all about. And then of course you get the final product that you see on the road and the trailer that we're showing you today, uh, which is the HQ-19. So let me show you several different models here and also how they put them together because this process is <laughs> very very intricate because there's a lot going on here so there's pop top models as you can see here uh, there's also models like the one that i am testing which is the hq19 this is a 17 model and the number is basically the length of the floor inside the camper not the total length but as you can see uh, they have different things being put on them like awnings like antennas on the roof like air conditioners because they actually come in shipping containers uh, over over the ocean so they have to fit inside which is what limits their width and also the overall height but still as you see uh, there's plenty of space on the inside right here you see some of the suspension components and of course all of them kind of come together uh, over here in this facility this factory and here you see one of the mostly finished ones with the of course the wheel and the tire attached to the suspension system and these suspension pieces are really beefy i mean 
Yes, really heavy duty. It's really hard to lift one of these. The actual frame of the trailer is galvanized steel and the structure of it is the skeleton is aluminum. And then of course, everything is uh, finished on top of that. Here you see one in progress where it's lifted off the floor and it's about to have its suspension put on. And you can also see these little casters these little uh, temporary casters, which is uh, what's used to actually move them around the factory uh, temporarily while it's being constructed. Here you can see how the parts arrive, the mattresses, the tires, and other components. And you can actually get three different tire options, kind of a street tire for the camper, all-terrain or very aggressive mud terrain tire. But all of them are LT light truck tires, which are very heavy duty. Just the whole thing. I mean, you get the theme here, really overbuilt. Some of the interior is already finished when it's constructed uh, in China, but there is a lot of finishing work, as you can kind of tell from this one, including running some of the hoses, the wires, connecting things, wiring everything, setting up the counters, the cabinets, the mattress. So there's a lot of work that actually happens right here at this facility. And then finally, ta-da, a finished one. So completely ready to be shipped to a dealer across the country. This is one of their largest models, HQ21. Once again, that means the floor length of the camper itself is about 21 feet. And let me show you in the back here. It's actually, well, pretty tall. This one is finished. This has the mud terrain tires, basically, and very aggressive. This is another floor plan. This is a 17 foot length. But if you come over on this side, this is a bunk bed set up right here in the back. You can see the two horizontal windows here. So it can sleep up to four people. And this HQ21 is a little bit different. It has a kind of a wraparound couch in the back that can also convert to a bed. And it has a single window and each floor plan uh, depends on how long the trailer is. So if you want a 17, you get this bunk beds, 21, a different orientation or a 19 with a slightly different orientation with a bigger bath. If something like the HQ 21 or 19 is too big, they also have single axle trailers. This is an HQ 15. So once again, a little bit shorter, a little bit more compact, more lightweight. So you can tell this with more type of vehicles, maybe a full size SUV or maybe even a mid-size truck can pull something like this uh, single axle trailer. And on top of everything else, I want to show you something really cool. This is the HQ22T. Let me show you. It's the toy hauler model. Take a look at this garage. This is basically seven feet wide approximately and up to 13 feet long. So you could put uh, maybe a small side by side here, maybe a couple of motorcycles, maybe some other stuff when you have bunk beds. Uh, yeah, so the options are there. So there you have it. You saw it, how they're built. They arrive basically in containers and then on and on and on, they get built up into what you see here and you get many different floor plans and sizes and types. But let's take a look at the outside starting in the front. So first of all, I wanna show you this, the hitch, how it attaches to the truck. This is what they call poly block hitch, which is uh, three dimensional and like a gimbal. So it, it can turn this way, it can go up and down and of course rotate. And it has a special additional spring that you can either disable or enable. So to get a little bit more cushion, you can see this, this is the frame of the entire trailer. It's not aluminum. It looks like aluminum, but it's galvanized steel that was painted here also and coated right there in black. You have here a power jack. You also have a handbrake. So when you're disconnecting from the truck temporarily, you can use a handbrake. And let me release it right there. And also this rolling jack. Some storage. Two propane bottles go there. It has plenty of ventilation, as you can see on the floor. And here is just basic storage for jerry cans, your other items. This is to protect just this rocker area. This is not really super heavy duty, but I think it makes the trailer look amazing, really macho, but it's not really meant for bashing. It can just save you once. Here, more storage. You can see there's some items like the handle for the jack of the tongue 
Um, also, this is an adjustment for your legs right here. Here is the outdoor kitchen. So you can cook inside and or outside. Rolls out all the way, extends. This is your cooking surface. You have a Dometic stove right here. You have a sink and you have connections. This tra uh, trailer was winterized, so I cannot show you water. First of all, you have a leg that you can extend and put under here. Under here, you can see a couple of outlets, one for gas and one for water. You can connect it to this outdoor kitchen. And also you have an electric ignition cable here that you can connect to the house. So everything has kind of been thought out and um, relatively easy to set up. So you don't have to have a separate propane source uh, for the outdoor kitchen here. This is just a surface to work on or put some drinks or food. So this is just kind of something very simple. You have outdoor stereo, one speaker up here in the very back and one in the very front. You have an electrically operated awning with its own legs. So it's pretty easy. These shackles can be used for pulling. So they're rated at about 9,000 pounds each. So almost the gross vehicle weight rating of this trailer, which is 10,000 pounds. And this trailer weighs, and we checked at the scales, it weighs about 7,000 pounds the way you see here. So you have about 3,000 pounds of payload, which is insane. You can add water, you can add a lot of stuff to it and still never reach the maximum payload. You could see I turned on my light bars outside. It has two full-size spares with a 500 pound rated additional hitch two inch receiver so you can put like a bike rack here or ski rack or something like that uh, down here you have combined gray and black water drain into one so it's supposed to simplify it a little bit underneath you can see some tanks and also the beefy independent suspension that's meant for off-roading and in episode two, you will see exactly how it works. This is also a three season camper, obviously. It needs to be winterized unless you customize it yourself and make the tanks really weatherproof. This is where the restroom window is. There's a lot of venting, like for the fridge, the microwave, etc. All these windows open. This is a shower. Check this out, outdoor shower. So you have one indoor and of course one outdoor. Drinking water, 16 gallon, like I said, 64 gallon city water. So pressurized water goes in there. And of course, there's a couple of more items here in the storage compartment, which is all the way, goes all the way through to the other side. And this is your 30 amp, basically house fuses. So there you have it. This trailer is supposed to give you access to the outdoors like this. Take a look. <laughs> so it can go off the beaten path. I'm gonna show you that in the second episode in this series with the Black Series HQ19. And also be look kind of luxurious. And you're probably wondering about price. What does it cost? Well, their most basic single axle trailers uh, with tent amount of them start at around 20,000. Uh, then they, the prices go up to this one and they have HQ21 and also HQ22T, which is a toy hauler, which cost, may cost a little bit more. So that's the price range. And this is what you get with this unique and off-road ready, full-size camping trailer. As always, go back to tfltruck.com or tfloffroad.com for all the latest news views and real world camper reviews.